was I got five decisions of my matric in 2011. I usually wake up at half past five, I put on my clothes and all my time. And after that, get out, I get out of the house, say goodbye to my mom. Then I will usually meet up with Mkona Mnayim. You do what I mean by take your time. So, yeah, that guy, he's my best friend. Then uh, I work with him, sometimes we work to school, but uh, we usually catch a taxi. Along the way, we meet up with friends. It's not only us who catch a taxi to school, we meet up with friends at CIT. So when we get to school, sometimes we are late, we have to run so that the gate doesn't close. Uh, there are many schools here, I think about 120 or 120. There are so many schools, so here in Kwakwa, we produce so many learners. You know. Back in grade 9, I wanted to go to, uh, to another school called Holland. But then uh, I was not accepted because they were full. So actually, my dad chose a school for me, and that school was Mampua High School. So in Mampua High School, in grade 10, I remember winning an award, being a top learner in mathematics by, I think it was 91%. Yeah. Back then, I knew that since I can get 91%, what would stop me from being a top learner in, uh, in grade 11? What would stop me from being a top learner in grade 12? My mother and my father were very proud of me, so seeing their, their smile made me happy also. And I wanted to do more so that their, their smile can be, can be repeated again, so that I can see those smiles again. So in grade 12 I said to myself, I must work hard. You know? And my father used to tell me, I should work hard. There are so many opportunities available, like bazaaries. Right now I'm a bazaar, I have a bazaar of the state government. So my father won't be paying a single cent and also my mother won't be paying a single cent. Yes, I will go to UC, to UC to, to do chemical engineering. So maybe one day I will also graduate, you know, and be a, a fully qualified chemical engineer. No. Our studies group, we were studying together after school. You know. We would have a, a timetable for which, on which day we would study on which subject, because uh, we did one subject per day. You know. For example, uh, Monday we do physical science and we will only focus on physical science. We will not only wait for the teacher to do some concept, we will do some new concept so that when he do some, some new concept, we would understand those concepts. So I was good in physical science, so I led a group. I helped them in physical science, mathematics, geography, and life science. But life science, we were all good at it, so it was kind of good working together. Every mindset was really nice because uh, I remember winning a prize where I had to guess when uh, mindset would have 100, 1,000 followers in Facebook. So uh, fortunately enough, I was the lucky one to choose to, uh, to choose the correct day on which they would, the closest day on which they would uh, get uh, 1,000 learners. So the prize, the prize was uh, 250. A time voucher, but I said to her, Indiana for myself back then I didn't know her, but I said to her, I do not want uh, a time, I want something that could be educational to me. So I said, Ask her for, I asked her for cashier calculator, highlighters, pens, and he said he would send me those, uh, those that price money that I wanted. I remember he sent uh, geography study guide and uh, English study guide. Having him, uh, it was really awesome having those textbooks because uh, we used them in our study groups. Uh, those textbooks had previous uh, question papers maybe from 2008 and they were really helpful because some of the questions that were in the metric 2011 question paper, final exam, some of them were quite, quite similar to those of the previous ones. If questions were hard, uh, if questions were hard, we would save them, as I said, for mindset. And also, even ask teachers the next day that we don't understand this question, this and that. So the teachers will help us, uh, will help us and answer those questions. So you do a kind of a good team for us. I would also like to thank Mindset Day for inspiring me through my metric years, for being there for me even when the times was hard. You know, you rock, guys. So keep doing what you do best, and that is teaching. To the men, tricks of 2012: uh, have a positive mindset, be a mindsetter. Never challenge anyone but yourself. Study hard, work, work, work very hard, start study groups. I, I promise you will get good results in the tree.